He's the Madison Symphony Orchestra's principal organist and regularly performs with orchestras around the United States. And Greg Zellick is here now ahead of a special one-night-only concert at the Overture Center on Friday that goes back to his roots. So this is a new program that was inspired by your Cuban heritage. Obviously, you figured it out because you've got the program happening, but was it hard to translate Cuban music and that feel to the concert organ? Yeah, it's a great question because I think what I wanted to demonstrate was the versatility of our instrument at Overture Hall, but also bring music that has never ever been heard before. So not only will anyone in attendance have never heard this program, but no one on the stage has ever played this program. So we're gonna see how it all comes together on Thursday at the rehearsals before the Friday concert. Are you nervous then? <laughs> I'm excited. You know, I'm excited about the idea of having the opportunity to share my past with my now present here in Madison. Mm -hmm. And over the years here, I've now been here six years playing these concerts and we have these large audiences that come. And I thought, well, how do we bring a new audience to this, mm -hmm. uh, to this venue? You, and what better way than to bring back the music of my childhood, which is primarily the reason I'm playing music today, is from having sat on my grandfather's lap and sung a lot of these songs with him. Yeah, so tell us when you go back to your childhood, that path that you followed that landed you at the concert organ as your instrument of choice. Yeah, I remember my sisters were, were taking lessons. I would listen to their lessons and then play by ear what they were playing. Mm -hmm. And they decided, well, this isn't for us because if Greg can do it by playing by ear, <laughs> I don't know. And he's not even taking lessons. And they're very talented at other things. <laughs> so, you know, it worked out. But um, my grandfather was the one that recognized that I had this musical ear that he had. And so I started studying piano and then organ more seriously, went to Juilliard for organ. Mm -hmm. um, and now I'm able to go back and showcase not just the organ, but also a wide variety of repertoire and performers and artists that I think are going to be so unique to the organ program and to the MSO in general. Okay, so there are how many friends are part of this Four. program? Four. Four. Yeah. And what are the instruments? So it's guitar, bass, flute, and percussion. And organ. Okay. Do you have a favorite piece? I'm excited about the last piece on the program because it includes lyrics that my grandfather wrote when he was still in Cuba that have never oh been gosh. heard. And he's no longer uh, with us, but I know he would have been so moved to have had this opportunity. So to be able to come back and sing and play this music and play with the guitar teacher that I studied guitar with back in Miami, it's going to be... It's going to be a great thing and also to have a bilingual program where we can share the stage speaking in Spanish with the audience mm. and have a lot of members of the Hispanic community be present. It's just like, it's, it's a win-win. I'm, I'm so excited about sort of combining my whole life into one evening. That is so special. The part about your grandfather, oh my gosh, it gives you chills. You got to go and see this. <laughs> if you don't have plans on Friday, you should now. You can hear Greg Zellick y Amigos play that Cuban concert this Friday only, 7.30. For ticket information, go to madisonsymphony.org. Greg, thank you. Thank you so much. And we will leave you with more from this talented organist.